welcome back. Are you ready for some trivia? Yeah. Super yeah. stealthy style. We're not gonna say a word, we're just gonna show our fingers. Go. about the Magi. I always thought that they were at the stable with the shepherds and the animals. What I found interesting was how far the Magi traveled. They came from far away in the east. It took them a long time traveling that distance. I bet my friend Frank could make the trip quicker. 
Frank? Who's Frank? He's my pigeon friend. Great guy. Speaking of pigeons, have we learned anything that can help the pigeon? Well, the story really focused on these magi and how they followed the star to find Jesus. There are so many stars in the sky, I wonder how they knew which one to follow. Okay, I'm going to wait while we remember rule number one. I think they knew because they were looking for it. They had studied the prophecies and were waiting, looking, and listening for a sign. That reminds me when I was a sentry on duty. I stand at attention looking over the planes, just waiting and listening for any danger. And what do you do when you see danger? Well, I jump into action and alert my mob. I think that's what the Magi did too. They alerted their mob? Well, maybe not their mob. But they did spring into action. The Magi were waiting and listening for a sign from God. And when they finally saw it, they headed out to find where it would take them. Even after they found Jesus, they were still listening because they were warned in a dream to go to home using another route and turn Herod where Jesus was. But what does all this have to do with helping a pigeon? Hmm. 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 Wait a minute, I think I got it. Actually, it was the hero out there with the white shirt who thought of it first. Do you see him? Sure. Well, he has the answer. I'm reading his mind right now. Of course, it's so simple, it's brilliant. What is it? <laughs> well. He was thinking of the Magi listening for a calling from God, and the pigeon needs to also wait and listen for her calling. But she said she's been waiting, and she hasn't heard anything. That's the problem. He hasn't heard anything. Did you say that he had, she had really big, thick headphones? Yeah, so? Well, didn't you say it seemed like she was having a hard time hearing you over the phone? Yes. I don't understand what you're getting at. Well, could it be that Pigeon's headphones are noise canceling? Could it be that she's got in her calling assignment because she can't hear with her headphones on? That's it. It's so simple, it's brilliant. Exactly. And I remembered step four of our successful teamwork, listening to God. It's so simple. That's our hotline tip. What is it, guys? Heroes are called to listen to God. Good job. I think I've got to call the pigeon back right away, okay? I'm going to go in my phone booth and call the pigeon. Hello? Hello? Is this the pigeon? This is Professor Jane. I said, this is Professor Jane. We have the solution for you. It's very simple. Take off your headphones. You can't hear your assignment with them on. Take them off. Have you taken them off yet? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to yell. It sounds like you can hear better. Best of luck to you in your first assignment. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Well, this sounds like the problem was solved. Well done, everybody. And I know what you're thinking right now. <laughs> you do? Yes. You're ready to wrap things up here and send these heroes out for the day and get some ice cream. Oh. That actually sounds good. Well done, Supermere. Heroes, thank you for your hard work today. Before we send you out, let's do our hotline verse. Ready? So let's strive for the things that bring peace and the things that build each other up. Romans 14. Good job. We're going to say a prayer. 
We're going to say a prayer, and then we're going to sing our theme song. But I'm going to wait until everybody shows me that they are like Aiden and ready to pray, and like the whole first row is ready. We're super close on the second row. Still super close in the second row. <laughs> Lord, we thank you that you love us and that you call us to missions in the world. Please help us to look for and listen for your call for us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. On your feet.